In today's video, we are going to be talking about the best foods you can eat to reverse insulin resistance. If you are insulin resistant, this means that the cells in your body are not responding to insulin in the way that they should. This leads to high insulin and high blood sugar levels and can eventually lead to type 2 diabetes and PCOS. Insulin resistance affects over half of the US population, with a lot of these cases going undiagnosed. So this is something that we should all be concerned about. But thankfully, if you are insulin resistant, it can be reversed. Now, one thing that I found really frustrating when I was researching this video is that a lot of sources agreed with me that insulin resistance is reversible, but the advice they were giving on how to reverse it was extremely unhelpful. Lose weight by eating less and moving more was the most common advice I saw. And this is so frustrating because this advice is so broad. It's the most generic advice you can give. And if it really were that simple, obesity and insulin resistance would not be as widespread as it is. Thankfully, today I have some tips for you on how to reverse insulin resistance that are more specific and that actually work. In today's video, we are gonna talk about some of the steps you can take to reverse insulin resistance and the foods you can eat that will accelerate the process. A few weeks ago, I did a video on signs and symptoms of insulin resistance. So if you aren't too familiar with what insulin resistance is, pause this video, check out this one, and then come back. I'm going to quickly recap what insulin resistance is and what causes it, and then we will get into how to reverse it and what foods you should eat. Insulin resistance is when your cells stop responding to the hormone insulin. Insulin is the hormone responsible for transporting sugar or glucose from our bloodstream to the cells in our body. Every time we eat carbohydrates, they are broken down into sugar and our blood sugar goes up. Then the pancreas releases insulin, and if everything is working properly, the insulin takes the glucose to where it needs to be, and blood sugar returns to baseline. When you are insulin resistant, however, your cells do not respond to insulin correctly. Your insulin stays high, and your blood sugar stays high. This can make it extremely hard to lose weight, and it can increase your disease risk. The opposite of being insulin resistant is being insulin sensitive. When you are insulin sensitive, your cells are responding to insulin in the correct way and everything works smoothly. But what causes insulin resistance? Insulin resistance is caused when insulin levels are sufficiently high over a prolonged period of time. As mentioned earlier, when we eat carbohydrates, insulin is released in response to the blood sugar rise. The other macronutrients, fat and protein, do stimulate insulin as well, although to a lesser degree. Protein only stimulates insulin moderately, and to fat, there's only a very, very tiny response. It's not very much at all. If you eat more carbs, insulin rises more. And with our dietary guidelines being based around bread, pasta, and cereal, most of us are eating a lot of carbs. But there are two parts to insulin resistance, because there are places around the world where carbs such as rice are a big part of the traditional diet, and these countries have not historically suffered from insulin resistance. So the second part to insulin resistance is eating frequency. The average American eats five to six times a day, whereas in the 1970s, the average American ate three times a day. When you are constantly eating throughout the day, insulin doesn't have a chance to come back down in between meals. It is still trying to deal with the glucose from your last meal. The solution to insulin resistance is the opposite of the cause. You want to eat more foods that have a lower insulin response and you want to eat less frequently. Both of these strategies paired together will help you to become more insulin sensitive. And now let's get into the top foods you can eat to reverse insulin resistance. Number one is nothing. The best food you can eat to reverse insulin resistance is nothing. We will get to some actual foods in just a moment, but please hear me out on this point first. Our bodies are always in one of two states, fed or fasted. When we're in a fed state, insulin is usually up 
and we are digesting the food from our last meal. When we're in a fasted state, the food from our last meal has been digested and insulin lowers. Fasting has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity in clinical trials, and this has led to the trend of intermittent fasting taking off. The most popular variation of intermittent fasting is 16-8, where you fast for 16 hours a day and then eat all of your food in an eight hour window. If this sounds overwhelming, you don't need to push it so far. Even just cutting snacks out of your day and eating three meals can make a difference. Number two, olive oil. As I mentioned earlier, carbs raise insulin the most and protein and fat less so. For someone who is insulin sensitive, protein only raises insulin moderately. But for someone who is insulin resistant, the impact can be greater. Fat has next to no response, no matter if you are insulin sensitive or resistant. If you can shift your diet so your macros are high in fat and low in carbs with moderate protein, this will improve your insulin sensitivity. Olive oil is a great way to add more fat to your diet. You can use it for cooking at low and moderate temperatures, and you can also add it to your food after cooking. Now, when you are buying an olive oil, make sure to buy a good quality brand, as cheaper versions are often blended with vegetable oils, which we wanna avoid. These are really, really bad for our health. Number three, salmon. Wild caught salmon is one of the best foods on the planet. This fish is high in healthy fat, omega-3s, and also is a good source of protein. Salmon is also really filling and will help keep you satiated for longer. Number four, eggs. Every time I do a top foods list, I always have to include eggs because they are just the best for so many reasons. Egg yolks specifically are packed with nutrition and contain just about every micronutrient except for vitamin C. The high fat content of the yolk won't have an impact on your insulin, although the egg whites might. For this reason, if you're insulin resistant, it might be worthwhile to discard some of the egg whites and eat more of the yolks, just to make sure that your fat is higher and your protein is still moderate. Avocados are a fruit that is high in fat. Once again, this is beneficial for improving insulin sensitivity. But additionally, avocados are also a good source of the electrolyte potassium. Potassium plays a role in influencing the pancreas and its release of insulin. Lack of potassium is thought to lead to reduced insulin secretion and impaired glucose tolerance. One study done on almost 5,000 people over 30 years showed that 373 of these participants developed type 2 diabetes and that the potassium intake of these individuals was lower than average. This is just a correlation, of course, but it does bring up an interesting point. And finally, we have butter. As we talked about earlier, eating less frequently can help to improve insulin sensitivity. And yes, simply cutting all of the snacks out of your diet can make a big difference, but intermittent fasting can help to accelerate your progress even more. A lot of people simply skip breakfast and do not eat their first meal until lunchtime. This helps to extend their fasting window. But if the thought of skipping breakfast and not eating for so long sounds intimidating to you, there is a compromise. Fat fasting or bulletproof fasting is when you have a drink filled with fat in the morning, which helps you push your first meal until later in the day. Because this drink only contains fat, your insulin is not stimulated and it helps to keep you full and energized for a few hours longer. Usually this drink includes a hot coffee blended with butter and MCT oil. Butter in your coffee might sound bizarre if this is your first time hearing about Bulletproof Fasting, but I have been doing this for years, I absolutely swear by it, and Bulletproof Coffee, it's honestly delicious. And that is my video on the top foods you can eat to reverse insulin resistance. Let me know in the comment section down below if there are any other foods that you ate or are currently eating to reverse insulin resistance. If you like this video, you might also like my video on the pros and cons of intermittent fasting and how to get started. You can check it out here. If you wanna catch up on my most recent upload, you can click here. And if you wanna check out my keto and carnivore diet coaching programs, you can click here. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.